Hello, family! Welcome to the very first episode of Tea Time with Jordan! So, these videos are actually made for OHS GSA. But all you random people out there that just want to watch this video because you have nothing better to do on a Sunday you like afternoon, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, in the past few months, we've had a few topics that we need to discuss, so let's review those, shall we? Firstly, we talked about suicide prevention, and it's one of the biggest fights that we have as an LGBTQ squared community. Note, LGBTQ squared stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning. No one should take their life, or even feel the need to take their life, just because they don't feel accepted. So... Below is the Trevor Hotline number, and Trevor, the Trevor Project, is the leading national organization preventing LGBTQ suicide. Please enjoy my faces while you put this number in your phone. Next, we talked about HIV and AIDS, and we understood that HIV can lead to AIDS, and they're not the same thing. There are three things that we can do to prevent HIV and AIDS. We can get tested, we can protect ourselves and others, and then we can be a part of things like AIDS walks. Then we moved on to respect. What you want? Now, remember, the biggest thing that we can accept in respect is to truly be a gay rights activist, you have to be able to argue against gay rights. Because just like it's so obvious to us that we deserve rights, it's so obvious to them that we don't. If you respect someone 100% of the way through, you've done nothing wrong. Then we moved on to selflessness and teamwork. We realized it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us. A bigger idea, a bigger cause, and that's our movement. In the end, we save lives. And we get marriage. And even though there's people that we like, and people that we don't like, we all have to get along together because it's not about you. It is not about me, but it's about us. So, now we're into gay history. And I'm going to ask the big question. I'm going to ask the big question. Why? Why is gay history important? I'll give you a little time to think about it. I'm not wearing what? All right, let's hear some responses. I really love cats. Uh, no. Oh my god, it's a double complete rainbow. Closer than now. Suck it, Jesus! This award is my god now! No! <laughs> Westboro Baptist Church of Topeka, Topeka Kansas. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. The reason why is because we are a part of this bigger group. Sound familiar? And that we have to respect ourselves enough. Sound familiar? To continue forth this great venture that we call the gay rights movement. So there are a few things that you kind of need to know. First, the rainbow flag. The original rainbow flag actually had eight colors. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They were Roy G. Biv with turquoise thrown in. Red meant life. It was the life force that we have 
Orange was the healing of that life force. Yellow was the sun. Green was nature. Turquoise was magic. It was the mystery of it all. And blue or indigo meant serenity, while purple meant spirit. Second thing you need to know, number two, Stonewall. It was the beginning of the Gareth movement, but it wasn't. In 1969, June of 1969, to be specific, in the riots at Stonewall, gays versus policemen. That police brutality to them had to stop. And we'll explain that in just a second. So, what I have for you is this beautiful little documentary called Before Stonewall. Now, this documentary was made in 1984. So when they say 20 years ago, they're talking about the 60s, not the 80s. Crap, that's the 90s now. The link to said documentary will be in the bottom. And that concludes this episode of Tea Time with Jordan.